welcome back to another session of DMT breathing. In today's session, we're going to be doing breath of fire and alkaline breathing. So get set, get comfortable, and let's begin together now, like this. Breath of fire. Sharp exhales through the nose. The inhale happens by itself. Double the speed. Focus the mind. Alkaline breathing. Fully in, letting go. Fully in, letting go. Double the speed. the speed. Good, keep going. Double. And a big exhale. <sighs> Begin your breath hold. Completely relax all the muscles in your jaw, in your neck, and your shoulders. We're going to hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a full breath in. And a big exhale. Get ready for the next round. Breath of fire.
double the speed. Exhale. <sighs> Begin your breath hold. Good. No air needed. gonna hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a full breath in. Exhale. Get ready for the next round. Breath of fire. Go. 
bubble. Master the rules first before you can break them. Well, then, what are the rules? Nature has decided. She has given us parameters to which we must pledge our allegiance, whether we do so willingly or not. Failure to see that life is a series of interconnected and symbolic exchanges of energy and information leaves us to believe that we are here alone which leads us to behave selfishly. Alone or all one? To learn how we fit in the bigger picture is a lifetime or lifetimes work. But to see that there are basic rules that we can follow in order to grow in responsibility to our earth, to our original mother of all, this can help us get along. It's not just about me or you. The relationship to us is our own true nature, which is the nature of all things. It's not something that happens through the mind. It is something that is built with intentional and conscious choices to be in alignment with nature and overcome our selfish tendencies. Eventually, the mind will join the mission. But until then, we must notice when the mind has its own agenda We must notice when we try to break the rules or rebel against our own inner authority, 
and the consequences of those behaviors. We must notice when our mind very convincingly derails us from our true mission. What is the true mission? What does following the rules get us? Where does mastery bring us? How do we approach mastery over our own lives? Questions to contemplate. <laughs>